You regularly make new friends. There we go. What am I drinking? All right, it is time for the second test. Picking it out of this old whiskey barrel that I was going to age beer in. So I made beer a long time ago with a friend and we were gonna try to age some whiskey and I bought this barrel and instead it just fell apart. And uh, well, now it's good for picking out the, ouch, I hurt myself. I N F P. Interesting. I wonder how that will go. Alrighty, so how close can we get to an INFP? And yeah, I'm just using the 16 personalities test website. I know people have different opinions about it, but for sake of just the simplicity, we're going to try it. So an INFP, their cognitive function stack is introverted feeling, extroverted intuition, introverted sensing, and extroverted thinking. And so for an INTP trying to think of a, think into an INFP's mind, um, we're going to share extroverted intuition and, and, and introverted sensing in the same place, but introverted feeling is the dominant, or the demon, excuse me, wrong word, demon function for an INTP, and extroverted um, thinking is on the shadow side, but the dominant side. So we'll see how it goes. First question, you make new friends, or regular new friends. You re make regularly, you regularly make new friends. There we go. What am I drinking? <laughs> uh, vodka. We are going to say disagree. Um, you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. I'm going to say, yeah. Oh man. Like, yes. I'm just thinking of some of the INFPs that I know. I see them to be rather curious types. Um, and I don't know what would propel that other than extroverted intuition. Um, seeing other people cry can make you feel, or easy to make you feel like you want to cry too. I'm going to say no. Uh, you often make a backup plan for a backup plan. I'm going to say no. Uh, you usually stay calm, even under a lot of pressure. I'm going to say no, actually. I don't think... At uh, social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. I'm going to say they probably are more so to do that. Um, you prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. <laughs> I think they, they are, they're not one of those types. Um, you are very sentimental. I think they are. Um, you like to use organization, organizing tools uh, to schedule lists. I think they like the idea of schedules and lists, but they never actually follow through with their schedules and lists. So what would they say? Um, they like to use them, but it doesn't mean they're good with them. <laughs> um, dang it. I think I want to stay away from the middle. You like to use organization tools. Um, man, what would you say there? You, yes, they'd like to use them and lists, but that doesn't mean they're going to This is tough because they, they like, for instance, like it's not necessarily schedules and lists, but it's like they they are endeavoring a certain personality about them that they really like, um, uh, like not, not personality. That's the wrong way to put it. It's like, if they're trying to start a business, they're embodying a business mindset. So they might get the schedules and the lists and they're, they're, I'm sticking, getting so stuck on, okay, I just have to, I'm going to say disagree, but I think they also do. Ah, uh, even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall, overall ability and knowledge. You know what? I think yes. And I can't necessarily justify it. Well, introverted sensing. I think. Um, you feel comfortable just walking up to someone and finding it that you find interesting and striking up a conversation. I'm going to say no. You are not too interested in discussing uh, various inter interpretations and analysis of great work. No, I think they are. Yeah, at least the curiosity. Uh, you are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Let's just say disagree. Um, 
you usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily route. Yeah, uh, you rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on, on people. Rarely worry. I think they do worry about that. You enjoy participating in group activities. Ah, so the thing is about, I think I know this about INFPs, is that they dread the idea, but they're thankful they did it if they got themselves to do it. And so they're thankful afterwards. So what would you say? How would you? <laughs> so like you enjoy participating. I think they're going to be particular, be like, well, if I like the people I really enjoy, uh, let's just say yes. Um, you like books and movies that make you come or they come up with your own interpretation of the end. I can see them being curious about that, but I also see them being very particular that things have to go the way they that need to go, even though they are perceptive types. Because it's more about because like, for instance, stories and books, like there is there is a mode. No, there's a proper way to communicate humanity and the deeper realms of human structure <laughs> the heart of a man um and so i could see them wanting to have you know what? i'm gonna say disagree <laughs> your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments no i think even though they would like to be helpful i think they really care about their accomplishments i think they do um you're interested in so many different things it's fine it's difficult to choose i think i think they would be inclined to that or at least they want to try so many things doesn't mean at least they're interested to try you are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worst i think they are um that's part of the, i think the loop um, so you avoid leadership roles in group settings. That's kind of a hard one because I think they would be more inclined to avoid the leadership role, but I think they are also, man, inclined to rise up to the occasion. I'm going to say, I'm going to say disagree just from some of the things I've experienced with, with certain INFPs, um, you are definitely not an artistic type of person. They are definitely not. <laughs> Agree. <No. laughs> Make sure I'm doing the right side. You're definitely not, and I disagree. Okay, yes. Um, you think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings. INFPs are weird. It's not just because they're like feeling types doesn't mean that they're just like, I think they are more inclined, like wanting people to be rational. Now, granted, there is their own form of rationality driven by deep sense of moral principles. You know what? I'm going to say I'm going to agree. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. <laughs> I think they disagree. Um, you enjoy watching other people argue. I think they like a little bit of drama. Just kind of curious about what each other is saying. I think I think they are a little <laughs> a little bit nosy there. Um, you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Dang it! This is another one where I'm like, I can see them being reclusive. But also kind of out there to engaging with people of, that are curious to them, even though I. Ugh. What do you guys think? What do you think? I think what you think is you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Yeah, I think they are a little more, or you tend to avoid it. So like, yeah, on the green side, your mood can change very quickly. Yeah, I think they can be more inclined to, um, you lose patience with people who are not as efficient. I think not. 
Um, you often end up doing things at the last possible moment. I think so. <laughs> yeah, because they're a bit of perfectionists, I believe. Um, you have always been fascinated by the question of what, if anything, happens after death? I think so. I think so. They are um, secretly dark people, <laughs> but very flowery and... I don't know. They're very interesting. You usually prefer to be around others uh, rather than on your own. I... F man... I think they rather be on their own um, rather than just constantly with groups. But I can see them being like they really love the community around them. Um, ah, well, let's just go with that. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. <laughs> I think they... I think they like try to stay on board with it, but TI is their <laughs> demon function <laughs> and TE is, uh, so you find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. I do think they are more sympathetic types rather than empathetic types, but I think they can conceptualize an experience find it easy. So I'm going to say yes. You usually postpone finalizing decisions as long as possible. I think they are inclined to do so, but I think they don't like that or something. So they might go like, meh, but I'm just going to all the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? You rarely second guess the choices that you've made. I think they just, they second guess themselves all the time. I wonder, if, I don't know. That's just something from experience and it's more so out of a perfectionistic mindset and that might keep them from doing something as what they would like it to be at the end and it keeps them from doing something i'm not saying that's every infp there's several different types of each kind so it's like hard to <laughs> um after a long exhausting week a lively social event is definitely not <laughs> what they would want to have happen um you enjoy going to art museums i think they would um, you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. I think I disagree with that. You like to have a to-do list for each day. I think they will not like that. You rarely feel insecure. I think they're more on, on the insecure type. You avoid making phone calls. I think they would be more so to do so. Um, you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. I think they are in, well, dang it. I see a mixture of two things. I think they would be inclined to want to understand how other people think, but I also think they have a strong system of, of what things are. So with introverted feeling like a strong moral code, and then you have your introverted sensing, which you're, you're having experiences that kind of fortify perhaps your beliefs um, in your own actions. Um, but then extroverted intuition, I would be more inclined to, so yeah, a lot of time trying to understand the views that are very different from your own. I'm going to say agree. Um, in your social circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiate activities uh, with your friends. My initial thought would be disagree, but I've seen INFPs say, Hey, want to try going hiking and stuff like that so i can see them doing that too but boy. Mm, i think they would rather be invited into things um instead of the one who initiates and they may initiate more out of so more so because they no one has been initiating so i'm gonna say disagree just because maybe that's not what their preference would be i don't really know but we'll guess um if your plans are interrupted your top priorities get back on track i think they probably are well no i you know i think they have lots of uh undone things that are just kind of everywhere and like oh, i'll get to that um you are still bothered by mistakes that you've made a long time ago i think they are very much that's that's the deepest part of one of the deepest part of their loops um, you rarely uh, contemplate the reason for human existence, the meaning of life. Contemplation, you rarely contemplate. 
they are a philosopher of their own, of their own kind. Like, so I would rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. I think they'd be more cognizant of process, like they might process the purpose of humanity and maybe like what is what it what's responsible to be a uh, to be a human and seeking out the meaning of life in that sense so uh, i'm gonna say disagree but they have their own way of doing it okay so your emotions control you more than you control them i'm gonna say agree but there's a part of me that i can see them being very like they have their own kind of stoicism. No, oh, I think you get there, you get you touch, you tap into that, and I think they're going to be more inclined to do that. Uh, you take great care not to make people look bad, even if it's completely their fault. I think I think there are people that would do that. Uh, your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized. I think they'll be more inclined to be in that direction. Um, when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. I don't think... I don't think that will be something they would struggle with as much. But the fear of failure, you know what I'm saying? I think that's kind of, uh, you wonder how long it'll take for them to be disappointed. Man, that's a hard one. Um, when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. Oh, what do you guys think? I think we're gonna jump for Someone feels highly, thinks highly of you. You wonder how long it's going to take. I'm going to disagree. You would have a job. Uh, you would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Man, this is another one. It's really hard where it's like typical introvert. But then I think they'd be more inclined to work with other people. Um, but then they might want to make sure everything is done how they like it. Cause I know they can be a little perfectionistic work alone. <sighs> That's hard. Uh, you believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. I don't, man, I don't think they would think that. I think they're intrigued by it. Yeah. Um, see, so you feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmosphere. I think they probably are not. Um, you know, at first glance, how someone is feeling. I think so. Let's go, let's go big. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I think we're on the last one. You often feel overwhelmed. Do I peas feel overwhelmed often? I don't, I don't think they would feel overwhelmed. Like constantly, um, you complete things methodically without skipping any of your steps. I will say probably not. Uh, you are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. I want to say yes. Yes, I think they're probably more so. You would pass along a good opportunity if someone else needed it more. It's just the mindset of being very conscientious of another person. I'm, gonna, I'm not saying that they're not conscientious, but I think they wouldn't do that. Or at least that when they might invite them into it or something. Your struggle or you struggle with deadlines. I think they might. Um, you feel confident that things will work out for you. Um confident that things will work out for uh oh wait for <gasps> thank you all right i'm gonna say so 
reason why I always stuck with this one because I think their biggest struggle is loss and the struggle with loss and they I think they do need a constant reminder that it will be okay so I don't think that they have the sense of confidence you feel confident that things will work out for you was just say disagree all right let's see how close I got <laughs> and yeah! We got this one! Woo! So we're one, to, one for one right now. Alright. Woo! And I think it helps because I know some INFPs, but I'm, I'm glad that one worked out. See you in another video, another life, you another know. Hope you're having a great rest of your existence. Alright. Bye! <laughs>